Hello! Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers for Microsoft Excel. In today's lesson, we want to write a formula once in cell D2 that will give us the percentage of our goal that we reach. So each day as we tally our sales, we want to see what percentage of our goal for the year we've reached. Well, let's see. We started the formula this way. We've said, go over and tell me what the year-to-date sales are and then divide that by our goal for the year. So C2 divided by G1. Let's see if we wrote that correctly by copying it down to D3. Ooh, an error message. I don't like that. Let's see what happened. Okay, the left side of the formula moved down re in relative position. It's saying go over after day two and take the year-to-date sales and divide it by the sales goal in column G. Well, we didn't want it to move down in relative position. We wanted it to be frozen in place at the sales goal. Let's show you how to do that. Coming back here into cell uh, D2, what we need to do is we need to make the right side of the formula always refer to G1. We need to make that an absolute cell reference. Use the shortcut F4. F4 automatically adds a dollar sign in front of the column G and a dollar sign in front of the row 1. So now when we copy that formula down into D3, we can see that the left side of the formula for the year-to-date sales is in relative position, but the right side of the formula is always referring to the absolute cell reference G1, our goal for the year. So now we've written the formula once and it can be copied down correctly for each cell in our column. That's the way that we do it using absolute cell references. Let me give you an illustration of the difference between the three types of cell references. Relative sales references, which move down relative to the original formula. Absolute cell references, such as we just used. In this example, the absolute reference is to the cell G1 that contains our sales tax and a mixed cell reference which will enable us to automatically extend the range in our total as we add items to our shopping cart. So relative cell references, absolute cell references, and mixed cell references. That's our lesson for today. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.